Hello everybody, it's Danny from Deep South Homestead. We're back out here with our Mars Hydro 14 days ago. We uh, put up a video about the Mars Hydro. There was an unboxing of it and we showed how we put it together and we actually showed taking two small tomato plants, patio tomato plants, little small cups like four inch cups, little small plants by Yeha, and putting it into the Mars Hydro with the grow light on. And it's been 14 days now and we are going to look in and we're going to see how this has worked for us. I think you'll be amazed. I mean, I, I'm not a person who would probably use this on a daily basis because we have land to grow stuff. But for people who live in apartments and have basements and things like that and HOAs where they don't allow you to grow uh, things outside, this would probably be ideal for someone like you. Now this is a small one and you're only going to grow a very minimal amount of stuff in it. They make them a lot larger than this or where you can grow a lot more. And I think that it would probably be beneficial in that because in two weeks time the tomato plants has amazed me because I'm going to be honest with you when I put these plants in there I didn't have any potting soil or anything like that to put them in so I just went out in my driveway where the leaf mold after the rain had washed down the driveway and had banked up against a bank I actually took those two pots and, and took my hands and dug up the leaf mold off the ground mixed a little sand with it throwed a little Dr. Earth in with it fertilizer and, and I put it inside a plastic container and, and watered it real good and, and that's been it. I, te I technically have done nothing else to it. I mean literally that is it. Because if this works I want to give it every chance uh, to, pr to prove itself. And guys I mean with not doing anything to it I'm amazed at how much these tomatoes have done uh, just in the last 14 days or two weeks. Um, so I, well, I don't have any sense in sitting here talking about it. Let me just take and open this door and let me show you what I'm talking about now. I'm going uh, to unzip it. Got it unzipped. Let me, uh, it, has a, it has a tie on it here. I'm going to tie it back. We're gonna move the camera down here, and I'm gonna let you uh, let you have a look at what it actually looks like. I think you'll be I think you'll be satisfied. So let's take a look. Okay, here we are. We have the grow light up here, and here's the tomato plants, guys. These things really, I mean, they they really. I'm trying to if I get the camera too close to the light, it's gonna mess up. So they really look nice plants. Now I'm going to put my hand up here to kind of, I don't know if I can get my hand up here to show you the size of them. Now my plants were only like this tall. These plants are a good uh, 16 inches tall sitting inside here. And that's not it. Let me see if I can get up in here and show you some stuff. Look, maybe it'll get where I can get a good view of it here. Look, look down in here. They're already blooming. I mean, look at these little blooms up here on the top. They're actually starting to put on blooms. Now these are patio tomatoes. These are not any kind of big fancy tomato or anything like that. They uh, and, and they're just they're just sitting in water in a plastic tote. That way I don't have to keep opening this thing to water them. Now they're they're pulling water from the they're wicking water from the bottom because these pots have holes in them here. And and like I said, I've added nothing to the water. It's just plain old dirty water. And this is uh I told you it was just uh. Let's if I can get it here you can see it. I hate to get trash y'all. Let me get out here on the porch. It's just it's just leaves guys. It's just leaves and and sand. That's all it is. A leaf mold where the stuff washed after the rain washed down there. I didn't even put good potting soil in there. I didn't really try to go way out and try to uh, really do this thing up to make it look better than it, what it really is. I mean I just did it. This is an honest review here. I uh, I just literally stuck them in here in some pots with some cheap dirt that I got off the property here. And I'm going to have to say I'm pretty much amazed. This, uh, this grow light up here has done a really good job. So if you're interested in one of these, uh, we'll have them in a link in the description down below. 
They'll be fantastic. They're not for us. I'll say that. I'm just being honest. They're not for us. They're, uh, they're for people who live in apartments and places where, that don't have a place to plant anything. So, you know, if you're interested in it, check them out. I think it might be good for someone like that. And, um, I, the, the, reaction, the reaction I'm seeing from the plants is very positive. It's done a fantastic job. I cannot argue with that. It has done everything it's supposed to. Now, you'll notice I have the, the there's the vents are open there. I have a vent open there. And the vent in the door stayed open. Because this thing warms up a pretty good bit with that light on in there. And I left it where it would vent, uh, where air could come in from the bottom, come up through here, and then go out the top where it vented itself. Because it does get a little warm in there. Um, but the tomatoes evidently love it. So, guys, I have to give this a positive review. I can't give it a negative review it because it done everything that it said it would do. I was a little skeptical, not going to lie, but if this is something you're interested in, uh, I would get a larger one. I wouldn't get this small one because this one's only 27 inches by 27 inches. But now if that's the only place you have uh, the only size area you have, then you see here, I technically could probably put, um, now, now this is not filling up the whole base down here. This down here is not. The base is a, little, a lot larger. This is a like a 12 inch wide uh, plastic tote here by like 20 inches long or something, 24 inches long. You could have put a bigger tote in there and you could have probably got maybe three or four tomato plants in this thing, especially the patio tomatoes. Now you want to go with the determinant tomato if you do this, not an indeterminate. And I think that uh, I think you could probably grow four tomato plants in just this 27 inch square one. I believe that it would really work. Uh, I mean personally me, if, if I had a bigger space and wanted one of these, I would go with a lot larger, um, I would go with the larger one, probably the four by four or the four by eight or something like it, because they're a lot taller. Because I'm going to give you an, a, a view from the bottom looking up into this thing. You can see the cords hang from the ceiling up here. And it has vent places. I have them all tied off. The actual vent that I'm talking about is in the door itself. Where we let it vent out right there. There's a vent in the door and I have it open. But guys, there's the proof. 14 days. Tomato plants went from being 4 inches tall to being 16 inches tall. Thank you guys from Deep South Homestead.